Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Elia in this incarnation. So today I wanted to uh, talk about the faith on spirit and why this is one of the most challenging lessons we could experiment uh, in this process of evolution. And the first thing that I wanted to say is that many institutions developed faith as something that was more linked to fantasy. I mean, um, many times uh, when uh, religious people have problems, they start to pray and I'm not saying pray, uh, it's not something good. Uh, on the contrary, uh, maybe uh, many times their, their problems or conflicts are, are solved because they are aligning themselves. Praying is like uh, telling, saying a mantra. So um, when they are retiring their negative thoughts and emotions from the conflict, many times the conflict is solved uh, by themselves, by itself. And um, what I'm trying to say is that faith is not something that we are depositing in, in, in the outside. Uh, faith is something that we are um, acquiring when we are really aligning ourselves and we are doing things trusting, we are taking action, but we are trusting that that is the correct action because I am hearing the call of my soul. And um, I think this is one of the most challenging lessons because uh, we have to let go, leave behind uh, an old uh, way of operating with our mind. Uh, you know, we were lost in this 3D dimension, in this plane, in the mature plane, and now we are understanding how our invisible words are modificating our reality. And with invisible words, I always talk about thoughts and emotions. So, uh, and intentions, this is very important. Um, so, I wanted to give uh, examples that I experienced myself uh, just to um, understand this a little bit more and to um, maybe understand that as as much as we are evolving, as much as we are in this process, we are going to experiment this in more complex ways because uh, that's how evolution works. So I think we are all going to be challenged by, by these lessons, these kind of lessons, just to uh, trust in ourselves and in our uh, soul call. So um, before pandemic, I, I knew that uh, what was going to happen, I, I didn't know how um, that was going to be uh, traduced, you know, uh, I, I'm talking about the astrological cycles and um, uh, all, the, all, all the people that were connected with astrology knew that in 2020 we were going, we were going to experiment. Uh, something big that was um, like uh, destroying the, the old system. Um, so uh, before pandemic, I had this dream. Uh, my guides like advertised me uh, about the, the things and uh, how they, they were going to function. And they told me that I had to trust that I could uh, move freely. Uh, I mean, in, on, on the streets um, because... Uh, I, I was going to be invisible. They told me that and um, I had a lot of doubts because uh, many people that I knew at that moment uh, were fined or imprisoned uh, because of the rigidity of the controls. And it doesn't matter if you are believing um, what you are believing about the pandemic. I certainly uh, think, and I explained this before, that... Uh, all of that wasn't uh, a big programmation, but I think that uh, that had its purpose too. So everything uh, it, that happens had a purpose, has a purpose. So um, I'm practic practicing this neutrality uh, when, when I am transiting experiences. And okay, I just trusted this this. Um, this thing that my guides told me through my dreams and uh, at first I, I had many doubts but then I trusted and I leave fear behind. This is very important because if uh, I was uh, like vibrating in, in, in the motion of fear maybe I, could, I would have attracted the corresponding scene. So, uh, well, okay, uh, that ha had a, a divine purpose because uh, it was like the first times that I, I was channeling all these messages and I had to trust that uh, that was something that was correct for my soul. And 
then I had to um, to make a trip. And in this trip, uh, well, um, I, I didn't uh, swap ever in my life and I didn't give myself anything. I put I didn't put anything in, in my body. And uh, they, they, there were a lot of controls at that moment and they were asking a lot of things that I didn't have. So I had to trust in myself. I had to trust that, that what I was doing had a divine purpose uh, was for good reasons and that I was aligned to my soul. And that's how uh, it worked. Uh, everything was, uh, all the roads were open. So I could understand that if I was aligned and I am, I'm not saying that I didn't have doubts many times and that I wasn't, um, you know, that fear uh, could enter uh, for, for a few moments, but um, I, I let those things behind and I trusted and I trusted with all my soul that I was doing something that was correct for me. So that's how the, the, the roads were opened. And with this, what I'm trying to say is that to let that spirit hold us when we are given a leap of faith, many times is something very difficult because we are so accustomed to operate from this rational, extremely rational mind. And this could happen when we are uh, doing this transition, you know, when we are leaving our, um, you know, old job of the system. And when I'm saying job of the system, I'm saying that when we are not aligned to our purpose and we are doing uh, that only for the money and we are giving this leap of faith to a new um, a new thing, to something that is aligned with our soul, we could feel this fear many times, but we have to jump because universe is going to hold us on. And, or, or maybe we have to experiment different things uh, that was my case, uh, actually. I, I, I gave a lot of um, leap of faith uh, in my life. But I, I'm sharing this because we have to trust that if we are aligning internally uh, and if we really think that what we are doing is the correct thing for our soul, then things are going to manifest the way it should. Um other example that I want to give about this, uh, I already talked about uh, psychopaths and narcissists and how uh, many times the system is not um, it has no the, no capability to detect uh, people like this, and uh, many um, uh, mothers or or fathers have to let the, the kids go with with the psychopath and the narcissist knowing that that is going to cause uh, harm to them. So many times we have to take decisions that are a transgression for the human system, even the loss of the human system. But we have to understand that we are not irresponsible uh, by um, doing that, uh, taking that decisions. We are responsible with, with our uh, soul call. And this is all that matters. I mean, many times people could tell you that you are irrational, that you are not acting, um, you know, aligned to this system, to the human system. But that's when you have to follow your own guide. And I think we all, um, we all going to experiment. Um, we are all going to experiment this kind of um, challenges, you know, and. Uh, I, I am going. I am going to repeat this, but uh, we are. We have to let go of this 3D mind, and we have to understand that if we are hearing our so-called and we are aligning our thoughts and our emotions, and we are really feeling that this is the correct thing for me, then the roads are going to be open for us, and we have to remember this every time. Every time that we are uh, experimenting a challenge in our lives, because uh, I think this is um, one of the biggest lessons we have to uh, assume in this process, in this evolving process. So uh, I just wanted to to share this because I, I think many people could um, being could uh, be experimenting this right now uh, with many decisions. I already talked about the the educational system, how this is uh, totally. Um, 
out of alignment uh, with this new consciousness and how many people maybe uh, is questioning their themselves uh, if they are good parents for not wanting their kids at those schools anymore and uh, I, I think we should follow the own guide right now is a moment to not uh, hear anyone but ourselves and to trust that if we are responsible with our spiritual worlds, with our emotions, with our so-called, with our thoughts, um, things are going to manifest the way they, they should. So um, thank you, everybody. I'm ending the video here and see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.